Hello everyone, my name is Charles Davis and I want to welcome you to the God Principles. This here is a important video that I want to share with my audience. I had to, I've, I've been really contemplating how I can add value to my content and my subscribers. I've been stuck in the 950 to 60 subscriber range. And I've been looking at what type of content can I provide that would add value. Because everybody on YouTube right now is doing all this travelogue stuff. And I was like, it's just, it's just redundant. One of the things I've been contemplating and you have, may have noticed is I've started a podcast called Philippines After Dark uh, with my co-host Michelle. And I've been looking at other things that I could bring to this channel to add value to the people that want to watch this content. But see, you have to understand what how the God principles got started. The God principles was started back in 2010 back in the in the states because. I was stuck in drug addiction because I had went in there to help my girlfriend who had got stuck out there with a child that I thought was mine and I went out there and I had to join in in order to protect her and try to get her out. Unfortunately, I couldn't. But during that time, it was I was led to study the scriptures. This was around the time that John Paul II had died in, in the Catholic Church, and I studied all of that. And so I started documenting my journey. The God Principles website, what you see out there today, there's actually a WordPress version that dates back to like 2010. I didn't transfer that over because I've evolved since then. I've gone through the process of recovery in the Fellowship of Narcotics Anonymous. That's why I could identify with Tim K when he came out there and said he was struggling with alcoholism. I could really identify with that. But when we come out of these journeys, we come out with, I was led over here to start the God Principles as a part of my digital marketing agency. Serio Design FX. And so I saw the opportunity to create a YouTube channel as an extension of my company, an extension of my skills, and to continue this journey that I'm on as a human being. That being said, I looked at what was missing as far as content related to the Philippines and to what's going on in the world today. I've come to the decision that I'm gonna lean more into my strengths and my knowledge. This channel is gonna cover three things. It's gonna become cover money-making opportunities because I'm from IT. I've been doing this since I was 16. Do the math for yourself. And you cannot have freedom because that's what the God principles is about. It's about the freedom to live a life that other people only dream of. And in order to do that, you must have financial freedom first. Nothing, your health or your relationships, none of that stuff works if you do not have the financial freedom to make the decisions that you need to make. The second part is health. There's two parts to health. There's your physical health and your mental health. I have experienced both of those. As a part of my recovery journey, I've had to learn about meditation, mindful meditation, 
in order to manage my physical health. Because of my physical health, nervous system, I have to learn how to modulate my feelings because I have nerve damage from childhood. So I've had to delve deeply into that because I used to eat on my feelings from childhood, suffering from depression. I've since learned techniques in order to get over that, plus the damage that I experienced to my personality from my childhood. I'm going to go more into those areas. If you look at Michelle, Michelle, she's going to be covering uh, techniques that she's using and want to launch her channel. And I'm also going to be starting a separate podcast called The God Brew. It's about, it's just going to be a straight up discussion coming from a channel under my name, Charles Davis discussing the current events that are happening here in the Philippines and here in the world and to look at what's really going on. Because you heard some real crazy stuff out there. When you have celebrities getting on television talking about we don't need no man and these are influential people that the war between the genders and the misinformation coming out of the political realm right now is making this, is just muddying the waters. On my other channel, the Ultimate Brand Design channel, I've been interviewing professionals. Coming up this week is going to be Miss Del Marie Cobb. She's a leading political commentator and public media. She's worked with Hillary Clinton and Jesse Jackson on their presidential campaigns. And I've just completed an interview with her and that's going on on my other channel. And she talked about how things are being manipulated by how they're framed and especially on social media. And this is not only political, I'm talking about on YouTube and the internet in general, how things are framed to mislead you or lead you into a certain decision. And you can see it if you monitor YouTube, you can see that YouTube gives weight to things that people watch. However, people watch a lot of negative videos. That's why the real, you have other content creators taking other people's content, new content, and then they're giving their commentary on it. And it's very popular. I may or may not get into that. Because I believe that your experience carries more than critiquing somebody else's content. To me, that's kind of lazy. And that's not innovative. I don't, you know, I can sit up and look at a news conference and come to my own conclusions on it. Next, we have money, we have health, then the third one is relationships. This is going to be about the relationships to yourself. How do you truly love yourself unconditionally? Because my reason that people that are alcoholics, drug addicts, having these emotional issues, don't love themselves. And, it, and what happens is, is that they will do things that will self-harm and not really acknowledge what the real problem is. Because it's like this, when you become an alcoholic and you have to drink, that means you're trying to, you're going to drink yourself to death. Let's keep it real here. When you get to the point where you have to have alcohol on a daily basis, by a certain time, otherwise you're going through DTs and all that stuff, you're going to have to drink yourself to death. And I see that over here. I, I see that. We just lost a guy. He drank himself to death. He married a Filipina, 
and I don't even think he lasted a year. He had a stroke. They buried him a couple of weeks ago, but he was a heavy drinker. He couldn't stop. So these are the kind of issues and type of content that I'm going to be coming forth with because you cannot have any success with your health or relationships if you don't have financial freedom. You're going to see a lot, see a lot of content coming out about uh, the baby boomers. Well, personally, there's another channel. It's called the Nomad Capitalist. And I follow him. And he says, and I have to agree with him, go where it's best for you. You are not stuck in your home country. And there are a lot of different opportunities for even those on Social Security to live and upgrade their lifestyle. Why would I want to stay in a country that's going to put me in a nursing home until I die when I can come to a positive environment, live free, live a higher quality of life than I would in my home country? Why wouldn't I do that? That's what's best for me, and I believe if you have the opportunity and know how to navigate that, you can have it too. Because I'm going to be covering all of these areas in depth based on my experience and knowledge. I'm upgrading the studio, as you can see here. I've got uh, things going on in the background to upgrade it so I can have uh, the, the, the God Brew. It's going to be a... a living room chat here in my townhouse in the Philippines. Right now, I'm sitting in front of my computer and I've been in my daily meditation. Let's see. It's 1.51 in the morning and I said, wait a minute. I've got to talk about this because the God principles just staying within the Philippine genre is too limiting way too limiting there's a whole lot more going on and people need to understand that there's a problem and i'm gonna find i'm gonna point out the problems and the solution because right now coming to the philippines is nice but i'm beginning to suspect trying to be with a philippine is not always a good idea I've, de I've detected a change in, in things I'm seeing on YouTube and how they're programming themselves through the content that they see on YouTube. When anytime you're talking about this is what you pay to get a girlfriend, you're talking about paying for an escort. That comes out of South America, the girlfriend experience. I had a friend of mine do that years ago, and it's become too dangerous. They're going down there and they're disappearing because it's become too popular, and so now it's attracting the wrong attention. And the same thing is going on here in the Philippines. I'm starting to see people. We had some people come here from Israel. They got out of the service. They work in Israel, but they came and lived here. And so we're starting to see more foreigners from all different areas starting to come to the Philippines. And it's still a great idea because economically, if you're a digital nomad and have digital nomad money living here, you live really well. And those are the type of opportunities beyond YouTube that I'm going to bring forth on my channel so that you can start to develop your own digital economy so you can have the freedom to move and live where you want to be what's best for you because this is about the quality of life the whole spectrum the holistic view of the quality of your life that's going to determine your lifespan and how well you're going to live in my family, that was a pair of paramount importance, the quality of your life as a whole. 
Are you taking care of yourself in all three areas? That is your personal responsibility. But without the right information, you're subject to make the wrong decision. So I'm putting this together. I had to get to this and say, well, fine, let me go ahead and start preparing you. If you don't like the content, then it's not for you. No, no harm, no foul. But I have to grow. This is going to be a helpful channel. My name is Charles Davis. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis. And you can follow me on my other channel, the Ultimate Brand Design channel. Click like and click share. Let everybody else know and put in the comments what you want me to cover. And if you have some videos out there you want me to react to, send that to me too. Thank you.